BBC News with David Harper. NATO has strongly condemned attacks on its peacekeepers in northern Kosovo. 25 of its troops were wounded when they tried to intervene in clashes between police and Serb protesters. The demonstrators were angry at ethnic Albanian mayors being installed in Serb-majority areas. Sudan's army and the rival Rapid Support Forces have agreed to extend a ceasefire for another five days. The truce was due to have expired within hours. International observers say there wasn't a level playing field for Sunday's presidential runoff election in Turkey, but monitors from the OSCE did not dispute President Erdogan's victory. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has said that Patriot air defences will help to defeat what he called Russian terrorism in his country. He suggested the US-supplied system could intercept 100% of missiles fired at Ukraine. The former president of El Salvador, Mauricio Funes, has been sentenced to 14 years in jail for negotiating a truce with criminal gangs. Mr Funes, who lives in Nicaragua, was tried in his absence. Venezuela's leader has visited Brazil for the first time since he was banned by the then-president Jair Bolsonaro in 2019. Nicolas Maduro met President Lula da Silva ahead of a regional summit on Tuesday. A teenager in Guyana has been charged with murdering 19 children who died in a fire at a school a week ago. The 15-year-old girl is accused of having started the blaze in a dormitory after her phone was confiscated. President Biden says sanctions may be imposed on Uganda after new anti-homosexuality legislation was signed into law by President Museveni. Mr Biden described it as shameful. Cricket and the Chennai Super Kings have won the Indian Premier League. They beat the Gujarat Titans in a thrilling final in Ahmedabad in the early hours of Tuesday morning. The match had been postponed from Sunday because of heavy rain. It's Chennai's fifth IPL title. BBC News.